music and technology uh, has actually a long history. Uh, it goes back uh, several centuries, and especially like in the 17th, 18th, and 19th century, uh, there was a big kind of uh, industry actually uh, building and, and manufacturing these music machines. And Practically every composer, uh, it doesn't matter, it's Bach or Beethoven or uh, Stravinsky, uh, everybody composed for this uh, uh, music machines. The element of bringing technology into realizing those different elements has been very foreign to me. And maybe that makes it even more exciting for the project, actually, because, you know, I come from an, an angle that is very different from Trimpin. And this collaboration is kind of getting both of us in slightly different focus about what we could do. Him with live musicians and me with the collaboration and combination of both forces. One time uh, we talked about using gesture control and using an interacting device. So we found out that uh, Kinect was actually uh, the most reliable part to control mechanical instruments as well as musicians. So in this instance, what I'm mainly responsible for is a start and stop of the device. But more interestingly, I can also play with the volume of the different instruments. So for instance, you have the piano that is quite present in this composition. So with the fist, I can capture the sound of the piano. And then with my right hand, I can actually play with the volume up and down like you would do with, you know, with an orchestra, actually. If I want to play with the volume with the chimes, for instance, then I have to grab the sound with my fist again, but on the other side of my body. And then I can therefore give shape to that movement, even though I, I'm not really deciding the speed or uh, the instrumentation or, or, or really the rubato, you know, of, of the music, but I can influence the, the perception of the different volumes that, that the audience will ex ex experience from that. So. We had to troubleshoot a lot, you know, to make it happen. And, and that's kind of the exciting part, that uh, using new technology and uh, all my machinery, uh, my mechanical instruments, uh, they all have this component of uh, microprocessors. But the sound is not synthesized or amplified or artificial. It's always a natural sound. And tonight also uh, the audience will be sitting inside the instrument, so where the sound comes from all over. This is a very new thing for me. It's a very new thing for us, and we are trying almost weekly to kind of get out of our comfort zone so that we can ultimately have more ideas and become better artists. It, it is a big question mark, actually, this composition about what might possibly come out of this.